Hey everyone, I'm Khalama SP, and the title of my presentation is Enhancement of Lithium and Graphene Interaction Through Extended Hydrogen Vacancy Pathways for Lithium-Ion Batteries, RB Initial Study. This work is supervised by R.E. Mapash. To meet the growing demand for energy storage, particularly from increasingly popular electronic devices, more research is needed to develop next-generation lithium-ion batteries. Suitable anode material should be cost-effective, high energy storage density, rapid charge or discharge, thermodynamically stable, etc. Due to scaling down the size of electronic devices, a variety of two-dimensional anode materials are being extensively researched. Graphene is a graphene that is fully hydrogenated with all carbon atoms in sp3 hybridization form. Graphene meets most of the requirements of anode materials, but it suffers reactivity with lithium. In this study, we create hydrogen vacancies to enhance the reactivity of graphene using density functional theory. We also examine the structural, electronic, and electrochemical properties of lithium atoms on hydrogen vacancies on graphene. The electronic structure calculations were carried out using density functional theory. We employed the VASP code, which implements the DFT, and also a converged 5x5x1 five by five by supercell was used for all calculations. Moving on to our results and discussion, Fig A shows the different adsorption sites on pristine graphene, and Fig B shows the different adsorption sites around a hydrogen vacancy. Equation 1 was used to calculate the binding energies of all the configurations. Adsorption sites on, on pristine graphene produces negative binding energies, indicating a high possibility of clustering among lithium atoms. The adsorption of lithium on different sites around the hydrogen vacancy, shown in Fig B, produces positive binding energies, as shown in this table. The bond length between lithium and sites closer to the hydrogen vacancy are less than that without a hydrogen vacancy, which suggests a possible induced lithium and graphene interaction. We further, we further studied the influence of multiple hydrogen vacancies and increasing lithium content along the line pathway on the binding energies and charge transfer. Fig one shows the initial structure of the multiple hydrogen vacancy sites, VH1, VH2, VH3, VH4, and VH5, with lithium atoms adsorbed on each hydrogen vacancy along the line pathway. Fig two shows that the adsorbed lithium atoms relaxes towards the hydrogen vacancies along the line pathway. The simultaneous increase in the lithium content and hydrogen vacancies leads to the decrease in the binding energies as shown in Fig 3. Although reducing the high binding energies of 1.82 EV, 1.68 EV, 1.78 EV, and 1.48 EV, configurations VH1, VH2, VH3, and VH5 along the line pathway can be considered for lithium ion batteries. The lowest charge transfer in this case is for configurations VH5 of 0 0.80 electron, indicating that there is still a high possibility of lithium graphene interaction. On this slide, we present the electronic properties. We present the electronic properties where um, Fig A, where the Fig A represents the density of states for pristine graphene, Fig B to Fig F shows the density of states for graphene with increasing lithium content and hydrogen vacancies for configurations VH1, VH2, VH3, VH4, VH5 along the line pathway. Fig A shows that pristine graphene has a wide energy band gap of 3.7 EV. Adsorption of lithium atom has introduced new electronic states around the Fermi level as seen on or seen on Fig B to Fig F. The improved metallic character is expected to enhance electron transmission in graphene. On this slide, we present the electronic electrochemical properties of increasing lithium content and hydrogen vacancies on graphene. Fig A depicts a linear relationship increase between lithium content and the storage capacity. Y equation two was used to calculate the storage capacity of lithium for all the five configurations. For only five lithium atoms along the hydrogen vacancy line path, a relatively high storage capacity of 207.49 milliamp hours per gram was obtained, which is slightly higher than other 2D anodes. Equation three was used to calculate the lithiation potential, while Fig B shows that the value of the lithiation potential for single lithium of 1.82 volts is relatively high as compared to other 2D anode materials. 
the volt the lithium potential reduction from 1.82 volt to 0 0.94 volt is noted as the lithium content increases from one to four atoms. On my conclusion, the adsorption of lithium atoms on graphene sheet has been successfully investigated with the use of density functional theory simulations. Hydrogen vacancy enhances the interaction between lithium atoms and graphene by improving the binding energies, charge transfer, and shortening the lithium height. These configurations have a relatively high storage capacity and initiation potential as compared to other 2D anodes. And lastly, I would like to acknowledge the following parties. Thank you.